Real Salt Lake hosting their first home game in more than five months at Rio Tinto Stadium tomorrow. It'll be nice to see the lights back on again, but as Haley Cromblehome found out, the fan experience, like everything else, will look a little bit different. That's right, Heidi. First things first, you'll need to have on a mask. Only if you're eating is when you can take it off. But when fans come into the stadium tomorrow, only around 5,000 of the 20,000 seats here will be filled. They've actually zip tied the seats that people are not to sit in just to make sure. And your e-ticket, that will pretty much dictate when and where you're going in the stadium. Forget everything you knew about coming to a game here. The logistics of attending a game have changed drastically. Wednesday's game will mark the first MLS game at Rio Tinto Stadium since March 7th. Craig Martin, general manager and VP of facility operations, voiced this video breaking down what fans can expect. Your seat section will determine where you park, enter, use the restroom, and more. Wednesday night, there will be no tailgating and entrance into the stadium will be timed based on your seat location. Once inside, your seats will be at least six feet from the next group of fans. Yeah, it's a massive day tomorrow, and luckily we've had the staff to really be able to test what's going to happen. Taryn Meyer with RSL says hosting Real Monarchs games this summer helped the stadium prepare. We were the first first team sports in, in America since everything shut down in March, and it went very well, and we're excited to welcome people back. Real Salt Lake says temperature checks and health screenings will be required to make it inside of the stadium. Now, there are still some tickets left, but again, only 5,000 seats will be able to be filled here at Rio Tinto Stadium. At Rio Tinto Stadium, Haley Crumblehill, 2 News.